Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be filming a different type of video. I don't think I've ever done a cooking video. I really enjoy cooking, especially on keto. You don't really have a choice. You have to cook a lot, I feel like. Um, so I'm going to be showing you today how I make my keto approved pancakes and they're also flourless which I think is really important with keto I used to see a lot of pancake recipes on Pinterest and it's literally like 10 different ingredients and I'm like oh this is too much so that's why I wanted to share this recipe because it only takes three ingredients with an optional fourth ingredient for the extra protein so I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to the cooking video so the first ingredient you're going to need is cream cheese you're gonna need four ounces of cream cheese some vanilla flavoring you can use um, as much of the vanilla as you want I just put a little dash of it in there and then you're going to need four eggs so the optional fourth ingredient that I will be adding is some chocolate protein powder this is really just for the extra protein it does have eight grams of carbs per serving size uh, per scoop I guess I should say but that's why I don't eat these pancakes on a daily basis this isn't like an everyday breakfast for me this is probably um, once a week or once every other week that I will make these pancakes because um, the protein powder does have eight grams of carbs per scoop um, but if you don't want to have the extra carbs you can always find a, another protein powder that is lower in carbs um, but just make sure it is little to no sugar and relatively low in carbs if you do want to add protein um, there's a lot of different flavors when it comes to protein powder you can find birthday cake flavor um, blueberry pancake peanut butter chocolate strawberry uh, there's a lot of different flavors so you can kind of customize it how you want so yeah I'm gonna get on to the cooking portion of this video okay, so now I am going to place everything in the blender um, I'm going to start out with the cream cheese I already used um, half of my cream cheese when I made these pancakes the other week so I'm just gonna put in the other four ounces so now for the eggs I'm gonna put in four eggs How do people crack an egg with one hand? I cannot do that. I don't think I'll ever have that skill. I'm just too, too messy. All the eggshells will end up in the blender if I try to do that. And this is the last one. Now for the protein powder, I'm gonna do one full scoop of the chocolate protein powder. And it's a lot easier to do this in the blender because the protein powder is really hard to kind of dissolve into everything else. And then two shots of vodka. Just kidding. You're going to put um, a little dash of vanilla flavor. I like the vanilla flavor, so I'm just going to put a little more than everyone else probably would. And we are ready to blend, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure it's all secure. Okay, so we're all done. This is like the consistency that it is. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna start cooking the pancakes. So I have my spatula. I'm going to spray the pan with some butter cooking spray. Spray it really, really good. And you guys, I'm not a chef, so if you see me doing anything wrong or not very proper, this isn't like I'm not saying I'm a chef so this is just how I make mine <laughs> and they turn out pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some onto the pan you don't want to pour too much because then it's gonna be hard to flip and kind of let that simmer um, I've left it on low ish heat so now I'm going to turn it a little higher um, more to like medium to high heat you don't want to put it all the way on high because it's gonna burn um, but I'm going to go ahead and let it kind of simmer. And once it starts bubbling at the top, that's when I'm going to go ahead and flip it. So now we wait. Coffee break. Fashion Nova's trying to rob me. Take my money. How are you guys doing? I'm having really fun posting more. Um, I have a lot of keto. 
keto recipes that I like to share. Um, like chia seed, keto oatmeal, I wanna share that. Uh, it's obviously not really oatmeal, it's more made with chia seeds. Um, I wanna do, now that it's almost fall, uh, a pumpkin spice iced coffee, completely low calorie, no sugar, and it tastes really, really yummy. I wanna do that. Uh, there's a lot of things, you know, bacon wrapped chicken, jalapeno poppers, all keto friendly. Keto has been a big part of my life last year, as you guys know, and now this year, because I have been back on it for about a month, a little over a month. So yeah, let me know what else you guys want to see when it comes to keto recipes, and I'm going to go check on my pancake. So I will say these pancakes are kind of hard to flip because they're very, I don't know how to explain it. Like they're not your typical like pancakes um, there's no flour it doesn't rise easily um, they're very liquidy so it is kind of hard to flip um, so they're not gonna be super pretty pancakes which is fine as long as they taste good that's all that matters right uh, so yeah they're pretty ugly pancakes but they're delicious so okay now I'm gonna work on the second and a third pancake. This can probably feed one to two people depending on how much you eat. Your girl can eat. So I'm gonna eat all of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and start recording and we're gonna fast forward to the finished product. Here are the final pancakes. I know they look kind of burnt, but I promise they're not. They're actually perfect. I love my pancakes like this. I'm gonna take some sugar-free syrup. This is actually pretty high in carbs. Unfortunately, it has five carbs. I would recommend the Walden Farms maple syrup because it's all zero calorie, but I actually ran out of it and the regular syrup. I always buy their pancake syrup, but for today, we're going to be using this. For lower calories, zero to no calories, use the Walden Farms. So I'm just going to put some syrup on these pancakes and let's do the taste test. Okay. Let's try some of this pancake. Try a little piece. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Like, I feel like I'm eating at IHOP. Wow. Mmm. Okay, I'll stuff my face after the video. For those being three to four ingredients, keto friendly and easy to make, those are freaking delicious. I highly recommend you guys try it. You can add zero calorie whipped cream or low calorie whipped cream. You can add butter. You can really customize these however you want. This is just like the easiest way to make them and you can customize them however you'd like. So if you try these pancakes and you love them or if you hate them, let me know down below in the comments or what you think I should add next time I make these. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you'd like to see more cooking videos, keto approved cooking videos I should say, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!